Okay, so I don't know if you can see me. I hope that you can. But what I'm about to do is this is going to be like my first vlog. So bear with me on this one. And hopefully they will get better as time go by. Um, so basically this morning what I'm about to do is um, I kept getting a warning for my car that my driver's side front tire was low. Like every so many weeks I had to go get air put in my tire, but it was the only one that was doing it. So what I did was I went to the tire dealership and had them look at my tire. And when they looked at it, they told me that I had a slow air leak in my tire on my driver front side. And also my rear passenger tire had a screw in it. So I just went ahead and ordered a new set of tires for my car just so I could get rid of all the problems and things of that nature. And I am on my way now to go to the location to get my tires replaced, the whole new set of tires put on my car. So of course I'm bringing you with me. So basically I've made it to my location of where I was going to get my tires um, done so my appointment is at 1030 and it is about 1024 right now so I have six minutes to get in here so I'm gonna go get checked in and I'll be back with you then okay so I just finished getting my actual tires installed on my car it's approximately 1224 p.m. and um, my appointment was at 10 30 a.m so it took them about two hours to get my actual tires installed on my car but right now i am a little bit hungry so what i want to do is i want to take you all to there is this jamaican restaurant that i want to go to um, for those of you that don't know i'm a huge fan of caribbean food and so i went to two locations here in colorado springs area one of them was on the military installation for carson um, i ate there twice the second time i wasn't very pleased with the food so i ended up um just not even eating there anymore and then i found another place um that was really 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 good but of course i'm always out to see if there's 
better so last night I was looking on Yelp and I found this one location that I'm gonna take you all with me to and um, I'm gonna see if the food is what the ratings say because on Yelp the rating said it is a 4.5 restaurant so I got to go and check it out so again I'm bringing you with me Okay, so I just arrived at this restaurant and it is called the Reggae, I want to say Pit Express. So again, like I said, it had a rating on Yelp of like 4.5 stars. And so I'm going to go in here and see what this is all about. Okay, so I just went in and I got my food from the place, like an express Jamaican type restaurant. Um, from going inside it is definitely like a little hole in the wall type place which I'm okay with because I've learned over time that some of the best food come out the hole in the wall type places but the um, the customer service the lady that helped me she was awesome I mean I was welcomed as soon as I walked in the environment was very very nice and ambient it had the nice tunes of the Caribbean culture playing in the background so um, the food they are having like a lunch special so they have their lunch specials I want to say every day from 11 to 2 p.m. And I ended up getting some oxtails with rice and beans with cabbage. And everybody was raving about their homemade beef patties. So I did get a homemade beef patty along with it. And I also got it a, a dessert and also a canned Coke. I'm sorry, canned Pepsi came with my lunch special. You could have either gotten a canned Pepsi or a bottled water. And they also have homemade fruit drinks that they make in there as well. I didn't get that this time, but most definitely if it's what it's be, I would definitely be going back with them. And at that time, I probably would try one of their mixed drinks. So right now, what I'm about to do is I got to go over to PetSmart because I have got to get my puppy um, some food. And after that, I'm going to go home and sit down and I'll be able to vlog a little bit with you all while I eat my food and talk with you all. Um, I guess we're going to call it a soft mukbang. And then after that, I got to go pick my daughter up from school. So stay tuned. So I've made it to PetSmart, so I got to go in, like I said, and get some food for my dog. Um, hopefully it don't take long because it's 1.04 p.m. now, and I need to be back in place to pick my daughter up from elementary school at about 2 o'clock because she gets out at 2.30, and I like to get there early because of the traffic and sitting in line waiting. I like to be at the front of the line so she can get in and we can just leave. So let's go into PetSmart. Smart. So we got to go and find the food that she eats, which is authority food. Let's see. There's, it is not here. It is in, hmm, I don't know if they have 
moved it. Here it is. So she does authority and it is grain free. So let's see, like right here, grain free, one to seven, skin poke digestive, um, fish and potato formula. Um, she usually gets like Small breed, age of seven plus, mature adults. I don't see the one that she usually get. She is a small breed. So definitely something like this one. So chicken and rice. Um. Mature, small breed, adults, adults, let's see, adult, I think this is, hmm. Okay, so I'm leaving Pet Smart. I went in, I got her food for her, and now what I'm about to do is, let's see, it is 112, and I wanted to go home and actually sit down at the table and be able to enjoy my food but it don't look like i'm gonna be able to do that so the time by the time i get home it looks like i'm gonna have to basically just go ahead and go um to get um my daughter from school that's what it's looking like um i don't know i would have to see because honestly i'm hungry i gotta use the bathroom and I, I just don't know right now um if i'm gonna be able to make it home and eat and then go pick her up i guess it all depends on the traffic and what we're dealing with on the way home Let's see here. I don't know. So, I'm trying to find my way out of this parking lot because I really don't come over here often. Um, looks like I'm I'm finding my way this way. But I know I'm hungry. <laughs> your, your girl's starving. And I got the food in the car. And the food is smelling so good. So I am definitely ready to fall in there. Because I didn't eat anything for breakfast this morning. So I am most definitely hungry. Um, after I go pick up um, Janaya from school. That's who I'm going to pick up my elementary student. Um, I will be coming home. But I do know one thing for sure, that food is not going to last until the end. So if I do, I might have to just like sit in the car and eat my food in the car. And so you all might get the chance to just kind of eat with me. Huh. Cause it is definitely safe to say that my day is like been busy 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 today busy today okay so let's see oh and okay so obviously i left pet smart i've already gotten my food for my dog and right now what I'm doing is, well, I went by the post office to check the post office box to make box to make sure that I didn't have anything in there, which I didn't. And so now uh, my sorority, we're having an interest meeting on Saturday and I am going by to check on the facility that we're going to be using to make sure everything is set in, in order. Um, everything was submitted to the facility um point of contact and i never received a response back 
from her other than the application that she submitted for me to request the facility and the contract. And so I'm just going to do a double check to make sure because I don't want no problems on Saturday when we roll up in here and then they're like, okay, we don't know you're coming. So I'm just going to check and make sure that everything is in order for us to use the facility on Saturday. And after I do that, then I will be more than likely going to my daughter's school so that I can sit there and eat my food in front of the school. Because obviously, it's obvious, I'm not going to be able to sit down and enjoy my food the way I want it to because my time has come to an end for that. Unless I want to end up, like I said, sitting there and having... To wait in that long line of traffic so I have arrived at my location and I should be right back so that's good news I went I checked on the facility and everything for Saturday and we are most definitely locked in even though she never sent me a confirmation back but it's okay the, the goal is that we are actually locked in and we got a facility and a location to hold our interest meeting so um, it is, what time? It's 1.42 p.m. my time. So at this point, I'm gonna just go ahead and go over to my door to school. So like I said, I can get in line and I can um, pretty much wait for her to get out of school. And like I said, I like to go over early for the simple fact that I'm an impatient person. I don't like sitting in long lines waiting. And some of the most crude, it's bad enough the lines are long as is, number one. And then number two, when you were talking about the, the soccer moms and all, no offense, nothing against soccer moms. But when you're talking about them and the kids getting them vans and, and um, trying to get them going and sometimes it's just over it listen to me it's just too much it's too much to just sit in that line and like wait and like okay are you kidding me like well, what's taking so long it doesn't it's not rocket scientists get in the van get scrapped in and let's go kid what are you doing and so um again i am a little i'm impatient and I know it takes patience with kids because I have them, but I just can't. I don't see how some of the parents sometimes do it. Like, for example, I was dropping my daughter off to school. What's today? Thursday. So I think it was Tuesday morning because my husband, yeah, it had to be about Tuesday morning. And when I tell you, I had to like wait, leave it at the parking lot getting ready to get onto the main road I had to wait for a little child to walk across the road and I believe he was every bit of a no more than a kindergartner of first grade me personally I was against him even being out there walking to school by himself in the first place second he could have been older he may have been in a higher grade than like I said a kindergarten or pre-k or kindergarten um, kindergarten, I'm sorry, kindergarten to first grade. He may have even been in a higher grade, but look, family, when a gallon fell, when I tell you, this little boy was walking as slow, slower than frozen molasses. Yeah, you heard that right? Frozen molasses. This little boy was like, he had, he might as well had been out just kicking pebbles on his little walk. He obviously did not want to go to school. And then you had this long line of traffic waiting and everything. So it was like crucial. I'm like, I wanted to get out and like, would you come on here? Like, come on kid, what are you doing? But anyway, Glenn Tim, as you can see um, behind me, if you look behind me, you can see that there's no cars behind me. And this is why I like to get here early because I don't like to wait. That's why I get here early. But anyway, what I'm about to do is I'm about to go in here and I'm going to eat me some food and I'll be back. Okay, so that was a quick back. I'm back. <laughs> no, but what I realized is I didn't show you what I actually got. I told you what I got for my food, but I didn't show you. I hope you can see that. 
um, it does look good it did sweat a little bit because it's in the bag with the hot um, oxtails so I got this right here which was additional in um, uh, an additional price to the lunch special the lunch special by itself was only $8.99 so this is additional right here which is a sweet potato pie and this right here of course if you have eaten any of the Jamaican culture you already know what's in this bag is my beef patty and this is homemade it's not that store brought stuff according to Yelp so we're gonna see and now I talked to the lady inside of the restaurant she said it's homemade and this is the lunch special sized container that they give you which is like right here I hope you can see that it's not too shiny the sun is shining and this is what it looked like glam family let me tell you my oxtails is in the middle on your left my right is my rice and peas and on your right my left is my cabbage and so i am definitely about to follow up in this and we're gonna see what they working with we're gonna see if those four and um 4.5 stars is really worth it so let me bless my food Okay, amen. Well, let's see. We're going to try some of this cabbage. Mm. Mm. Y'all better tell me if I got something on my mouth. Don't let me sit here looking crazy on video. Oh, my bad. I'm so sorry. I am being rude. Glam fam, y'all have some? Y'all have some? No? Okay. So, I'm going to try these oxtails and see what's up with the oxtails. Okay, so the oxtails are definitely tender and they're stewed really good, really, really good. So I'm going to try the rice with peas. I had the option of getting just plain white rice, but I guess if I'm going to go out, I don't want no plain white rice. Go ahead and give me my rice with peas. And the good thing about this is the person who um, gave me my food, she was kind enough because... Um, the one that she had sitting there had been sitting there since the start of the lunch special and she wanted to give me some fresh ones so she went to the back and pulled some fresh one out so shout out to you for doing that okay mm. so that's definitely good so far so good let me try this sweet potato pie. Mm. It does have raisins in it, which is okay. I eat raisins. Mm. Oh, this is good. This is really good. So sweet potato, potato, I'm sorry, potato pie is definitely good. Again, potato, potato, tomato, tomato, Caribbean, Caribbean, whichever way you want to say it, it's you. Okay, so let's try this beef patty. It's supposed to be homemade. I'm going to break some of the bread off so I can go ahead and get to the goodness. And that's that meat filling on the inside. Mmm. Glad I gotta turn that heat off. It's getting warm in here. Okay, so 
not bad the um, Jamaican the beef patty I have definitely had better but it's not the worst I've had so anyway um, I've been saying the restaurant wrong I was calling it the reggae pit express and it's actually called the reggae pot express um, it says it's an authentic Jamaican restaurant they offer dine-in takeout eating catering or delivery one thing I would say is if you go in with the big party don't expect to sit in there because they only have enough to seat to like about 10 people at the most inside of the facility um, it's located in Colorado Springs on 1117 South Shelton Road and so their website is reggaepotexpress.com and the express is spelled with an X P R E S S dot com they're open um sorry they're closed on mondays and they're open on tuesdays through thursdays from 8 a.m to 8 p.m fridays and saturdays they're open from 8 a.m to 9 p.m and on sundays from noon to 5 p.m um if you're familiar with doordash food deliveries and things of that nature they are a member of doordash so you definitely can get your food delivered to you if you're in this local area and on the back of the card it says they have, they offer jerk chicken oxtails brown stew chicken and curry chicken which i did see every single one of these there today when i went for the lunch special they're on facebook and also on instagram and um the owner apparently is a um, young lady named tamara nisbet so most definitely like i said i found this restaurant because they were located on yelp and they had a 4.5 star rating out of a five star rating this video is not sponsored by them or anything like that it's just a matter of me finding them and wanting to go get some good food and I went to see what they were about and of course if I'm going to go get food I'm going to go to the restaurant that actually has good food you are not going to catch me doing the one star rating restaurant I'm not going to no one star rating restaurant I'm sorry um so most definitely i recommend this restaurant um shout out to reggae pot express in colorado springs um the person that um helped me i don't know if it was the manager or if she wasn't the manager or she was one of the workers but what i will say is that she gave me great customer service she was very friendly she was very open and she was very welcoming with her um customer service so that's always a plus especially when you're spending your money with someone you want to be welcomed and you want them to appreciate your money and again like i said she went to the back and got me some fresh rice with peas and that just shows me that she's willing to go above and beyond and she cares about the quality of her product that she's given to the consumer so um glam fam before we leave First of all, I want to show you this. This is the restaurant. Like I said, it's Reggae Pie Express in Colorado Springs, an authentic Jamaican restaurant. But last but most definitely not least, before you leave, if this is your first time viewing my channel, please, please, please make sure you smash that subscribe button and you ring that bell so that you'll be notified each and every time that I upload. And most definitely, I thank you for viewing my videos and make sure you subscribe to my channel. So until next time, Glam Fam, see you soon. Peace.